Did you know that there are over 84 nootropics available on the market right now? But which are those and which compounds are not considered nootropics? Well, let's find out. Hey, what's up, Greg here from your inception. Welcome to my channel. If you want to learn top secrets about nootropics and supplements, then subscribe below to start your journey. Today, in this video, we're gonna cover about 84 nootropic compounds that are currently available on the market. Now, as you can imagine, people often ask me about particular compounds and ingredients, uh, if they're nootropics or not. Um, and what we decided to do with my team is we create this amazing list of nootropics, of all nootropics that we found on the market. And today we're gonna quickly go through this list. So if you ever wonder if a particular compound is considered a nootropic or not, then you can just check this video or you know click the link below and check our blog post where you can find all those nootropics. So we'll quickly go through this list and I will quickly present you uh, those 84 compounds. So if you're ready, let's just begin. The first one, 5-HTP. 5-HTP is an amino acid that regulates serotonin and other brain chemicals important for relaxation and sleep. Then we have uh, acetyl L-carnitine. Um, this is another amino acid that can boost your physical performance and cognitive performance. The next one I want to talk about is alpha-lipoic acid. Uh, this is an antioxidant uh, that can actually cross the blood-brain barrier and can protect your brain from aging. Let's continue with alpha-GPC, one of my favorite nootropics. Uh, this is a choline compound uh, which is needed for healthy brain and cognitive performance. Aniracetam is about two to five times stronger than normal racetam, which is a synthetic nootropic. The next one is a compound called um, epoecrine. I'm sorry for the pronunciation. If you're not sure, you can find the names below. Um, and this is a protein um, that can have neuroprotective activity. Now we can continue with artichoke extract, um, which, has, um, which can provide several benefits, including it can lower cholesterol levels and it is an antioxidant. Ashwagandha, another popular nootropic adaptogenic herb uh, that can um, improve your mood and can help with stress. Astaxanthin, this is a potent antioxidant um, that can provide some brain uh, protective activity. Let's continue with Bacopa Moneri, one of my favorite nootropics um, used in traditional medicine for improving memory, focus uh, and attention, but it can also help with stress. Caffeine is also a nootropic uh, and one of the most popular stimulants on the market for energy. California poppy uh, is another nootropic plant actually that can uh, interact with GABA and HTP receptors. Cat's claw is a South American vine herb uh, that can help uh, with aging, so it can slow down aging, of course. Catuaba is a traditional Brazilian bark herb uh, that might have some neuroprotective benefits. CBD, well, you probably heard about CBD before, um, so it's used for treating anxiety and stress. Then we have Silastrus paniculatus, uh, which is another Ayurvedic herb, so used in the Ayurveda medicine um, and can help with overall brain health. Ceticoline, one of my other um, pop most popular nootropics, great choline compound for memory, mood and cognition. We have Clitoria ternatia, if you wonder why they named that way, check the image of it and you will know. Uh, this is an Asian herb that can improve your memory. Another compound is Convulvulus pluricolis, um, which is an Indian tonic herb and um, brain booster. Coenzyme Q10, very popular pseudo-vitamin um, that has anti-aging benefits and work as an antioxidant. Creatine, you probably heard about creatine before, one of the most researched nootropics on the market uh, great for building muscles. Choline, well, we talked about alpha GPC, which is a choline compound, and ceticoline, and choline just, it is a generic name for all cholines, basically. Let's continue with DHA, uh, which is an essential fatty acid, which is very important for brain development and optimized cognition. DMAE, it's a choline compound, um, and it's a very popular nootropic uh, on the market. Then we have forced choline, uh, it used to be part of many uh, nootropic supplements. Nowadays, you can rarely find it in any supplement, but it can improve memory in healthy individuals. GABA, it's a neurotransmitter that has issues with uh, 
crossing the blood-brain barrier, uh, but uh, if it can in certain instances, it may, uh, it's good for relaxation. Ginkgo biloba, one of the most popular nootropics on the market, um, seems to be very beneficial for uh, older people, so for elderly, uh, because it can slow down their cognitive decline, but it doesn't seem to be so beneficial for improving memory, even though it's often used by younger individuals. Ginseng, there are different types of ginseng, but in general, ginseng is a Chinese plant um, that can increase your energy, decrease stress, and boost your immune system. Go to cola, traditional Chinese herbal, um, known for, um, you know, it can improve your mood and uh, pr promotes better memory. Guarana, another potent source of caffeine that can boost your energy levels. Huperzin A, a very interesting compound in tropic that can um, improve your cognitive performance, but it needs to be cycled, uh, and we don't know the optimal cycles, um, so it's kind of a, so we kind of uh, don't recommend it too often um, because of the safety or potential safety issues. Kana is a South African herb that can improve your uh, mental performance, especially in seniors. Kava Kava is a psychoactive root herb that can promote relaxation and sleep. Kratom is a very risky Asian herb um, that may promote feelings of calmness, but also drug addicts uh, use it. So yeah, probably not the best nootropic to take. L-glutamine, uh, an amino acid, which is conditionally essential um, and crucial for healthy cognition. L-phenylalanine, another amino acid needed for clear mental function. I'd probably use it for improving my pronunciation. Uh, L-theanine, an amino acid found in green tea, it goes really well with caffeine, so it mitigates side effects of caffeine, great for um, improving your focus, for relaxation, and so on. Now, let's continue with the second part of this list. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below, and don't forget subscribing to this channel. Okay, so the second part starts with L-tryptophan. Um, L-tryptophan is an essential amino acid um, that helps our bodies make proteins. Uh, lecithin, you've probably heard about soy lecithin before, um, and this is a choline, um, basically choline compound um, that can, um, it's beneficial for decreasing stress levels um, and cortisol and also cholesterol. Lamb bone um, is a traditional herb that promotes calmness and can also induce sleep. Lamb's main mushroom, uh, one of my favorite nootropics for long-term brain performance, it's great for, um, it's a great cognitive enhancer and for slowing down cognitive decline, but it can also help people with depression. Magnolia is a bark herb I use for relaxation. MCT oil, a highly saturated type of coconut oil um, that supports um, the use of ketones for brain energy, well, also for body energy. Um, Cunea prurians is a precursor to the formation of dopamine. NADH is an antioxidant uh, coenzyme related to vitamin B3. Maybe you heard about it before. Um, Nephirecetam, it's another version of racetam. Um, obviously, there are different types of racetams. Um, all are synthetic, all are man made. Um, so, um, yeah, we generally do not recommend using them just because we like more studies. Nicotine, you know about nicotine, uh, it's a powerful brain boosting. Um, compound Nupept, a very interesting synthetic um, compound, um, similar to, works similar to, to Recetems. Um, Otstra is another one, it's a plant that can increase alpha brain waves, uh, which are associated with state of relaxed alertness. Um, Oxyrecetem, another version of Recetem. Passion flower, traditional herb with calming properties. Finibut, Interesting, it's a very controversial, actually, and very controversial nootropic uh, that might help people with mood issues, um, but we generally don't recommend it um, because it lacks studies. Uh, Phenylpyracetam, another version of racetam, um, phosphatidylcholine and phosphatidylserine, uh, both very important nootropics for brain, uh, power for memory, and so on. Picamelon, another interesting compound that can help people with anxiety and attention. And actually, this is a synthetic compound made in Russia. I think you need a prescription in Russia if you want to get it. Pine bark extract, um, very powerful antioxidant um, that 
can you know, provide uh, or improve your brain health. Piracetam, regional racetam, primary racetam, banana racetam. Pterostilbene, interesting antioxidant that is found in berries. So if you eat a lot of berries, you get lots of pterostilbene. Um, that's why uh, people who generally eat a super healthy diet, high in fruits and vegetables, well, especially in, in berries, um, then you usually have a really strong immune system. PQQ, well, I tried to pronounce this one as a whole name. Um, yeah, don't even bother. It's a powerful antioxidant that, um, yeah, can boost mitochondria and provide other benefits. Resveratrol, very interesting anti-aging compound. Um, well, we still like research on how effective it actually is, but it seems to be a super strong antioxidant and great, it shows great potential for anti-aging. Rhodiola rosea, my favorite, one of my favorite entropics, great for um, anxiety and stress. Rosemary, well, it's a popular herb. You can um, add it to different uh, dishes, tastes really good, and it's an effective antioxidant. Sami, so uh, C-A-M-E, um, this is um, a very interesting compound used to support mood balance. Shisandra berry, an Asian herb, um, can increase um, or actually can reduce cortisol levels and stress levels. St. John's wort, you maybe heard about this one before, a traditional herb that can help with depression. Uh, Sulbutiamine, a synthetic version of vitamin B1. Taurine, very popular amino acid that um, regulates communication between our cells. Um, Theobromine, a popular caffeine-like compound that may have effect or stimulating effect. Tongat Ali, a uh, male enhancement herb, maybe you used it before, I don't know, but um, lots of people ask me about Tongat Ali. Turmeric, very popular and very effective antioxidant. Tyrosine, an amino acid, you probably heard about tyrosine before, um, that produces um, dopamine and noradrenaline, so two different neurotransmitters. Uridine, a nootropic that um, works as an antioxidant in a way, so it can protect our brain from degeneration. Uh, valerian, valerian is actually quite interesting sleep supplement, um, but you can also find it in anti-stress supplements because um, it's, it's really good uh, anti-stress and anti-anxiety uh, agent. Vinpocetin compound uh, that's found in periwinkle plant um, and can boost your circulation then we have all the vitamins, vitamin B1, vitamin B3, uh, B5, B6, B9, B12. Um, there's also B8 as well. Um, so those vitamins play different roles, super important, especially B9, B12, B6, um, and also niacin B3 for different functions in our body. And guess what? We came to the end of this video. We covered 84, I think it should be around 84 compounds. We usually add a few um, and take, now and then we take one of those uh, from the list. Um, but yeah, that should be around 84 compounds. So if you're searching for nootropics or if you ask someone like which nootropics are effective, it's kind of a, you know, hard to answer this question, right? Because there's so many different compounds on the market. Some are super effective, have proven effects. Some have no effects whatsoever. Some are dangerous to take. Some bring severe side effects. So. Yeah, you need to be careful about that. Now, if you're searching for super potent nootropic supplements, safe, well-studied um, and affordable, then check the links below, maybe above as well. Well, they're gonna be there for sure in the description. And you can check our top rated supplements for sleep, for brain function and so on. We tested many of them. Uh, and of course we have a super advanced algorithm that help us uh, review and well score them and then of course rank them from the best to the worst so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me don't forget to follow your inception on facebook and instagram and i hope to see you soon again take care